By the end of this video, you're going to know about seven settings that you need to turn on on your YouTube channel to skyrocket the amount of views that you're getting. In fact, these settings just help this creator gain over 100,000 subscribers and this creator over 100,000 subscribers. And the same exact thing can happen to you so long as you make sure you're turning on these settings. Because if not, YouTube's probably giving you less views than you deserve. Setting number one is you need to make sure that you come through to all of your content, whether you're uploading long form content or shorts content, and you need to make sure that if you scroll all the way down, that you see allow embedding is turned on, and you also need to make sure that shorts remixing is turned on, because if those two things aren't turned on, it basically stops other people from giving you views on YouTube. Let me explain. If I come into my analytics, I come into content, I come into all, and I scroll down, I'm going to see this right here. So I've literally gotten over 21,000 views in the last 28 days because other people were remixing my content. Now, if I come in here and I turn this over to lifetime, we could see that I have literally gotten 167,000 views because almost a thousand people have remixed my content. And then as a result, I've gotten more views, I've gotten more subscribers, I've gotten more exposure and that literally would have never happened had I not turned this setting on. So you could also be missing out on hundreds of thousands of views or hundreds of people, dozens of people, or even thousands of people remixing your content if you didn't have those settings turned on and it's literally just something that you could go through and either turn on or off on all of your content. But again, I would strongly recommend you have it on. Now, setting number two is actually the secret to Mr. Beast's success. If we come over to Mr. Beast's channel by just coming over to YouTube and we type in something like Mr. Beast right here, we can click on this and then we can come over to videos and what you'll notice is almost every single video that he uploads now gets over 100 million views. But that didn't start happening until he started to change one of the analytics that he's been using when he uploads his content. And if you want to see that, I'm going to come over to this channel and I'm going to show you how to turn it on. If we come into content right here we click on details and then we scroll down and you keep scrolling down you're going to see underneath your tags right here if you scroll a little bit further down automatic dubbing you need to make sure that this is turned on if you want to increase your views on YouTube because here's the deal only 20% of people on YouTube speak English so if you are uploading in English which I'm going to guess you upload in because you're watching this video right here then you need to make sure that this is turned on so that you could get views in other countries in fact if we come over here and then we come into my comments on this channel I do a pretty good job of responding to all of the different comments but what you'll begin to notice is I'm now getting comments in other languages languages. And the reason I'm getting comments in other languages is because people that speak other languages are beginning to watch my content and are beginning to discover my content. And you want that to happen with your content too. If we come over here and then come into audience and we come over here and scroll down, we will be able to see the top geographies for my content. If we come in to see more, you'll see the majority of my views are from the US, but I'm then also getting views from places like Germany, Brazil, South Africa, the Netherlands, and a bunch of other places. So if we subtract this, we have 428,000 views. Actually, let's pull this out a little bit longer. If we go the last 90 days, we could see I've gotten 1.3 million views. We could see 500,000 from here. We could add in another 160,000. So that's like 600, this right here, 700, 800. So 800,000 of the views, about two thirds of them have come from English speaking places. The rest of them all come from places where people don't speak English. So guess what? This literally led to a 30% increase in how many views I'm getting, again, simply by turning on a setting. Now that next setting that you need to make sure is enabled is actually something that doesn't come with YouTube. And if you're not using this setting, it's probably the reason you're not getting the views that you want. What I'm talking about is vidIQ's Chrome extension, because when you use vidIQ's Chrome extension, it completely changes what YouTube looks like for you. First and foremost, you can now see how many views per hour certain videos are getting, which is going to reveal to you exactly what's shining in your niche and what type of content you should be creating. In addition to that, it will literally show you how many views the average video gets for certain search terms or the average length of that video or how many videos have been uploaded on the topic in the last five days, the top channels for it, the top related keywords. And this is literally going to completely change your experience on YouTube. In addition to that, let's say that you identify Jeff as a competitor. You could literally click on him. Is it 
if you have this Chrome extension enabled, you could click on this and you can view all of his trending videos. And this is literally going to show you his top videos by views per hour. And what you would notice here, if you were looking at him as a competitor, is that most of his content is older and most of his content that are getting a lot of views are shorts that are 45 to 59 seconds long. So what would you do? You would want to implement that into your strategy. Now, in addition to getting the Chrome extension, you'll also get access to so many other features. For example, this optimize feature right here literally lets you click into your videos and this will allow you to get an AI review of your titles and of your thumbnails and this will literally tell you everything that you need to fix everything that you did right and it will show you if you click in here what you could actually do to improve these things and beginning to implement this into your strategy is going to skyrocket your reach and since you're watching this video, if you go to the pinned comment below right now, you could get started with VidIQ for only $1. It's an absolute no-brainer. I would have never gained over 800,000 subscribers. This creator would have never gained over 100,000 subscribers. And this creator would have never gained over 100,000 subscribers if they weren't using VidIQ. And it's going to be your secret weapon too that allows you to get more views from the videos that you're already creating. Now for the next two settings, I'm actually going to combine these things. We're gonna come over into my brand new YouTube channel that I just started this year to prove to you that this works too. If we filter by most viewed videos, we could see that this video got over 96,000 views and I'm gonna show you two settings that you need to change to make the same exact thing happen to you. First and foremost, if we look at the file name over here, we could see that it says ChatGPT launch new features. What does that line up with? The title that I use right here. Now what I would strongly suggest that you do is make the title of your video also the file name for your video and for the thumbnail that you are going to be using. And if your title is too long or something like that, at the very least, just make sure it has the keywords in it. For example, ChatGPT, new features, which is what this video is about. Now, in addition to that, you need to make sure that that same exact word, ChatGPT, new features or keyword shows up in a few other placements here. If we come over here and we do control find and we look for ChatGPT, we could see that this shows one time in the title. We could see that it shows several times down here and it also shows new features. If we actually type in features, we could see that that shows three times here. So essentially what's happening is I am overloading YouTube with metadata about what the video is about using the file name using the thumbnail name, using the title, using the description. And then also if we scroll down here, we could see that I did the same exact thing in the tags down here. I filled out 448 out of 500 tags. We could see the feature shows three times. We type ChatGPT in, we'll see that ChatGPT literally shows like a dozen times. And then the final placement in which this is showing, if we click into this video and then we pause it so it doesn't start playing, we click on this, we come over here and do show transcript, we will see ChatGPT shows here and then ChatGPT shows again. So I literally said the exact keywords that I wanted YouTube to know this video was about in the title, in the description, in the tags, in the file name, in the thumbnail name, and in the beginning of the transcript right here. And then what all of that adds up to is YouTube showing my content to the right audience so I get the right click-through rate and I also get the right amount of people watching my video for the right amount of time. And then as a result, YouTube keeps pushing my video out. Now, in addition to the individual settings that are showing on your videos, you also need to make sure that your channel settings are set up correctly. If we come over here, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this very quickly. If we come over here, we could see that I could click on your channel right here. And then from here, I can come into customize channel. Now, what you're going to see is a few different things. One, I have my niche show in my name. I call this channel Rob the AI Guy because I talk about AI. In addition to that, I have this description down here. What shows up here? You can see AI shows here, AI news shows here, ChatGPT shows here. That's why my ChatGPT videos do so well because YouTube thinks that's what my channel is about. In fact, YouTube knows at this point that's what my channel is about because not only is it showing up in my description, but also if I come into my settings right here and click add a feedback, which I accidentally clicked on, we could see that if I come into channel and come into keywords, ChatGPT shows up multiple times here. AI shows up multiple times here. So it is abundantly obvious to YouTube exactly what my channel is about, what type of content I'm creating, and then the other thing that ends up happening is a bunch of people actually comment 
the key word that I want them to hear. If we come over here and we come into all these different comments, we could do I responded to because I try to reply to almost every single comment. If we type in ChatGPT, you're gonna see I have people commenting about ChatGPT every single day. And the reason that that happens is because people exactly. are going through what? and watching the content and then they're commenting based on the things that I've said. And what this does is again, trains the YouTube algorithm. You need to have all these things working for you. You need to make sure that your metadata is set up correctly, your channel is set up correctly, and that the audience is actually responding in the right way for YouTube to be able to see, whoa, this is exactly who the audience is. Let's keep showing them their new content. Let's show them their old content. And also, let's find more people just like these folks. Now this brings me to the last and most important setting and I've actually seen this get messed up on a bunch of people's channels recently, so please make sure it is not messed up on yours. If you come into settings right here and you come over into channel and you come into feature eligibility, you need to make sure you have three greens right here. This needs to say enabled, this needs to say enabled, and this needs to say enabled. If for any reason this doesn't say enabled, or this doesn't, or this doesn't, it means your channel isn't set up correctly and YouTube isn't giving you access to their standard features, intermediate features, or advanced features, which could actually be the thing that's stopping you from getting views because YouTube might think that you're a bot or they think that you're not a real person. And if you've seen anything about YouTube news recently, they've been cracking down on people that they don't trust. And if any of these don't say enabled means YouTube doesn't trust your channel and you need to fix that immediately. Now, if you're still struggling to get the views that you want, the subscribers that you want, or to get monetized on YouTube, I personally wanna help you. In fact, I wanna work with you one-on-one -on -one to guarantee I can help you grow quicker on YouTube the same way that I help both of these channels gain over 100,000 subscribers. If that sounds interesting, well, please check out this video right here that walks you through the three different ways that we can work together one-on-one -on -one, and I can guarantee you grow faster on YouTube. I'll see you over there.